All right, welcome back. And in today's video, we are going to take a look at a specific app for developing YouTube video content, but also not just for YouTube, but any social that you like as well. So one of my favorite things to do is to review new AI softwares and present the ones that I think are really valuable to you. So here we go. So this one in particular I stumbled upon, it is called Maker Suite, and I did find this on AppSumo. The deal is unfortunately out right now, but of course you can still grab the product. So the strength of this software, big picture, is to research and analyze video content and to be able to develop your script. So it is an A to Z based software that will get you from the research phase of looking at what kind of video to create to actually developing the briefs and to writing the content and getting it ready to actually create the video. So I'm gonna show you inside of this. We're gonna jump right in. So number one, this is the panel that you see when you jump in here. Let me just say before we dive too much further into this, one of the best things about this software is how completely intuitive and simple it is. So there are so many different softwares out there that are overly complicated. You will not find that with Maker Suite. It has everything you need and doesn't have a whole lot of extra junk that overwhelms and confuses. So when you start off here, I have a fresh profile so you can see everything just as the first time you would jump in here you can go to this complete the profile and of course you'll want to put your information in there and down here you will want to put in your publishing channel as well especially for later in the research phase so there are a number of different ways to start using this product i'm just going to click on create new you can see you can create a project with ai guidance well it will walk you through step by step you can create a project from scratch. If you are a do-it-yourselfer and you like to just go through using your own process, you can research by a topic or you can do single video research. Notes are just an additional uh, function if you just have to, you want to gather a lot of information for a specific project. Now the projects, of course, very cool. I do want to start off by showing you research because this is probably one of the biggest strengths of the software. I did show in a previous video how to develop a process with an AI agent for creating a blog post and then moving that into a YouTube script and then using softwares to create it. But there was no research phase like you see here. So this I am going to be looking at integrating into my workflow and see how I can make things a bit more seamless. So when we research, you see here that we have a couple of options. You can research by a topic or a video. So I am going to research by keywords here, and I already did one. And what it was is to look at best AI content writer. So it has done the research here. We're gonna look at what that is and what it means. We have an option here to add some tags to this just for future search um, efficiency. It's gonna tell us how many videos there are currently on this topic and how many channels. And when we click over here, of course, just simple, we can archive it or delete it. So I'm gonna click on view the report and we'll wait for that for a moment to pop up. So the data is currently being processed. Okay, so it pops up here. And so let's just take a look at the overview of what is included in this research. It gives us all the general information about how many total views and so forth average publication date. Most of these videos have been out since November, 2023. So if that is the average publication date, probably some space to get some new videos in there. When we go down here, we get an idea of is the majority of this stuff, is it shorts or is it mid range format? This is really important. You wanna know if most of the content that is being shown, shown as shorts, then don't make long form content for that video. So view ranges, we're getting an idea of basically what the average views are per video and publishing when they came up. So we see here in the last six months, only 7.9% of the searches that are ranking are actually recent. Video distribution, okay. Duration, so we could take a look at the length of the average video, the genres, you know, where it is actually being posted and the engagement distribution. So. This is all useful information when you're in the research phase to see if you're gonna make this video, what are the ideal lengths, formats, et cetera, to make that video. So when we go down here, we also get some video ideas based upon that, okay? And it's gonna go ahead and give us a subject line, give us a target audience and a context with also duration, temperature, narrative, and tone. So again, 
pretty interesting here that it's going to take a look at this data for us. And then we can sift through here and see if there is anything worth making. Re Revolutionizing research, five free AI tools for academics. That is a cool one. I'd be interested in taking a look at whether or not that would be a good one. Uh, AI for beginners, a step-by-step -step guide to getting started. So that's probably a little too generic, but worth um, investigating anyway. So regenerate ideas. Of course, we can have it regenerate as many as we want to get more and more ideas. Down here, it's going to give us an idea of what the top videos are. So we can say views, liked, or commented. Give us an idea of what is currently working. And we have some charts here. So these charts are kind of fascinating to go through this. We can take a look at this and see through a number of different kind of formats, however you like to view your data. So I'll let you dive into that. It's not worth going into right now and all of the videos found. So there is plenty of ways to gather um, data on what is currently out there. So very, very useful. So once we have taken a look at that, and I'll tell you what I should do is I just should grab one of these just for the purposes of creating the project for you. Okay, so let's say that we are going to look at this one. So you can copy that to clipboard. Let's go ahead and create the project. So when we click on this, it just moves us right to the next uh, step in the process of creating a video. We can choose our format. I think it was already recommended what it was. I don't remember, but um, we can do a short, a medium, or a long. So let's go ahead and click medium. Uh, revolutionizing research five free AI tools for academics. Let's just stick with that. Language, of course, is going to be English, but those of you who are not English, look at that. We have all of the languages. The content type, we have an option to blog or video. Obviously, we're going to do a, a video here. The project goal here, define the goal that you want to achieve with this, this piece. So this is interesting. Let's click on what this option is. Lead generation, brand building, growing your audience. Now, of course, the outcome is growing an audience, so I'm going to click on that. So that's fun that it allows you to uh, pre-select what's in there. Describe the person company who is creating this. Okay. Um, content creator for an AI YouTube channel. Don't know. Just going to put that in there for now. Now we can provide more context. It's already been pre-generated, the increasing use of AI in academic research and tools used for free that can assist. Okay, so just to give it a little bit more, a um, little bit more to work with. Choosing your storytelling framework. Uh, I think the default default is, so let's just get any, go ahead and use, because we wanted the free tools. We, let's use a list. So you could see here that there are a few different options. Um, ADA, which is attention, interest, desire, action, a little bit more of a sales format. Um, there are different items here that you can go through. There's a product review, but specifically what we're trying to do is to obviously generate a list, five free AI tools. So let's go ahead and use that. Um, defining your style. So we can use informative, okay. Uh, that actually should be fine. Let's narrate actually in the second person and allow the AI outputs to be more precise. So I'm fine with that. And of course it has pre-selected the brief style to be a listicle. So what we're gonna do there, we have a couple of options here. You can generate the outline yourself or generate uh, with AI. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, so it has done its thing and now we actually have an outline here and it has put simply everything that we basically wanted for a listicle. We have um, the headline here. We have in our introduction, our content, and our conclusion. Now it has given us five game-changing AI solutions uh, tools, and we do need to see if these are actually free tools because it doesn't mention that, but one, two, three, four, five. So it did give us five and it gives us the conclusion. Okay. So this is just basically the outline. So what we want to do is obviously make any changes to this, but I'm not going to do that here. Um, obviously, I would do that separately. There are some options here. Funny enough, you can actually preview this. We can uh, edit it in some way and regenerate the outline so we could do it again, or we could just go ahead and generate the script. So I'm going to go ahead and generate the script. We'll be right back. Okay, and here we are. 
we see that it has generated our actual script here and the words are 683 words, which is roughly four minutes of length. Okay, and we have an option here that says talking points. So if I select this, you could see that it actually reformats this just a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it as it was. And we go through here and it gives us some kind of cues, enthusiastic tone, speaking directly to the camera. Have you ever wished that you could cut your research time in half while doubling your output? Well, what if I told you it's not a dream anymore? The AI revolution is here and it's transforming how we conduct academic research. Gone are the days of drowning in endless papers and struggling to find relevant connections. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to harness the power of AI to supercharge your research workflow. Fantastic. Now, of course, this is an output by GPT-40, so I think it's gonna be well-written regardless. And we can see here that it is in short, kind of pithy sections, and it gets right into the content, telling us exactly what to include. Switch to demonstration of PDF features, cool stuff. So really, really simple there. Now we have the opportunity here to go on to publishing information. Let's see what we have here. We can ask AI what to do next, or we could tell it what to do next, or we have this option called quick. So once we have our um, script, we have a couple of options here, and I've talked about this before. I would take this right into a teleprompter-based um, app. I use Big VU. You would just copy and paste it right in there and then adjust it and you start shooting the video. So whether or not you're just gonna read this and have it uh, a faceless video like I do, or you can use an avatar where you can paste this in and have the, the AI avatar talk it, or whether or not you're just gonna shoot yourself talking to the teleprompter. So any of these will work. And then essentially all we need to do at that point is drop in the slides and of course do the individual videos uh, for the sections taking a look and then run through the editing to drop in those videos. So this is a pretty, pretty simple process. I'd say probably the part that's the most painful is doing the research and creating the script, okay? So this tool removes those pain points, which I think is, is really, really useful. You don't have to do too much research. It's pretty simple to do, and I would say it'll cut your research time down by at least 75% and also writing the script is a no-brainer. The only thing that is going to take your time, which really is it should, is actually having to do the screen grabs of the, the actual walkthroughs of the software, which should be simple enough, and then editing or outsourcing it to an editor. But um, pretty much taking this all the way through here, we can look at the publishing info. This is just improving the title ideas, grabbing the tags, and also adding a description in here, which we can easily generate based on the script. But that is essentially Maker Suite in a nutshell. And I wanted to run through this just to show you how cool it is and how quick this is. And of course, you'll probably be seeing me do an update on this soon. I'll be generating quite a bit more videos, especially with the quality of this format because it is so good. So do yourself a favor, take a look at the software. I have included it in a link below. I'm now using a Google document with a link to all of the tools that I'm recommending. So you can find your links in there, plus some extra cool stuff if you haven't been watching some of my other videos as well. So be sure to click on the link and check that out. And if you like this video, wanna see more of this hacks, cool stuff, how to use AI tools for success, then be sure to thumbs up, comment down below, let me know what you think about the video, and of course, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time for more good stuff.